Hey everyone, welcome to our adventures into Northern Canada. Today we're gonna to get back on the highway, onto highway number 37, and our destination today is, I don't know. <laughs> we're just going north. Welcome to this adventure. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Chrome. I live in my van full time with my dog, Cruz, and we are currently driving into Northern Canada. Today we're going into a small community called Stewart, British Columbia. It has a population of just over 500 people and the drive-in was absolutely epic. <laughs> Is that a concert stage or what? Should I set my DJ booth up on there and invite you all over here to have a big party? Seriously, is that got a concert stage here? Make some damn noise for DJ Chrome in my dance floor right there. Huh, I wonder what this place used to be. I'm gonna change my shoes, especially if we keep finding more places like this. I don't know, I gotta tell you guys, this is uh, very soft. Oh, I drove over an ant's thing. Look at them all. So are you guys. Oh, we hit the brakes. Found a garbage can. And looks like some travelers here from Florida. They're all covered up, looks like they're still sleeping. Garbage. Shh, don't wake up the other people. Coming up here is the junction point to Stewart, British Columbia, which is 59 kilometers from here, and there's a gas station right up here. Fuel up here is $1.94.5 per liter. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Look how dirty these gas pumps are. <laughs> They're filthy. So the last two days cost me $144.30 in fuel. Oh, that door is nice. Oh, even the back of the door is beautiful. Snacks. Now we're gonna head down to Stewart, BC. A lot of travelers out here. All right, Stewart, BC left, Alaska Highway right. As we're coming in here, there's mountains towering around us. Snow-capped mountains, you can see little glaciers on them. As we drive deeper and deeper into this valley, the mountains just seem to get bigger. Some of them are towering over 7,000 feet above me as I drive down this road into Stewart. And being out here doesn't feel real. I think because your mind just can't process all of this beauty at the same time, it kind of feels like I'm driving through a movie. And just wait until we get up here around the corner and see the Big Bear Glacier. It is insane. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Canadian North. some helicopter tours that leave town that go up over top of all the glaciers around here but I think it's like a 700 bucks a person to go on them and it requires a minimum of two people and well because I travel alone I'm not sure if they take Cruzy Bear as my second seat. It's like I'm driving into Narnia or some crazy thing you watch on some avatar mind-blowing the scenery here. So I was out here during COVID so it was right at the tail end of it, I believe. And I remember pulling into town here and the locals are like, whoa. <laughs> we haven't seen a traveler here in a long time. They were very, very welcoming. The lady at the campground, I think there was me and one other person at the whole campground. I guess that whole 
travel season for them and hurt them pretty bad out here. But uh, I don't remember this kind of beauty. We're just getting into the little town of Stewart. I'm excited to see this place, it's been a long time. This is a lot different than what I remember it. Things are way cuter. I don't know if some people have like just redone the outside of some of their homes, but man, it's really nice here. The amount these small towns make you feel at home is quite beautiful because they don't have much economy outside of the travel season. So they're extremely friendly to all of us tourists that are coming to travel through. And it's nice to see this place with some open businesses because the last time I was here, just about everything was closed except for the grocery store and the restaurant. And the restaurant now even has a new owner since the pandemic. Really nice guy. I popped in there today for lunch. Stewart, BC is pretty cute. This is the big building full of antiques. What the heck is that? Is that like a hair curler? Is that seriously the advertisement for it? How scary is that? Really, like back in the day that was enticing? Uh, scary. So down here, this is called the Ripley something Inn. It's like a hotel. Feels like I'm walking through like the 1920s and 1930s right now. There's a row of little homes back there too in the back. That uh, yellow building back there said that was the brothel. So from what I can see, I think this is Ripley Creek Inn. It looks like somebody owns all these old houses that were the original downtown and turned them into turned them into rental places, I think, for like little hotels. This is wild. I'm pretty sure somebody in the comment section will let us know what goes on here and if you can rent those little homes or not. But if I had the chance to rent one of those homes, I'd for sure want to stay in the brothel. I don't know why, but I think that would be my, my number one choice. Man, it'd be cool to kind of come stay in one of these old places. So right down at the end of here is the restaurant. Well, there's the, uh, how to register to stay in these places. I don't know if you're renting a room, if you're renting one of those little units there, or you're actually renting one of these houses. Pretty freaking sweet if you ask me. So if that's the main lodge, I'm guessing that's where you'd be renting the room. Who knows though? <laughs> this place is freaking awesome. How you doing there, Sir Cruzy? <laughs> when he was younger walking through here, he had a little bit more pep in his step. Now that he's <laughs> now that he's a little older, he's walking just a little bit slower. That safe, I think, is from the pharmacy. Only reason why I say that is there's a pharmacy sticker on it. Whoa, you see the moth fly out of there? Those places are just like lost in time. I think some people might be living on them. Like that thing's got a mini split on that side and a generator up front. Really, the local dogs are like, get out of here.
Stuart Main Street from 1910 to the 1930s. That's when this place was a bustling town. That's awesome. The horse is walking through town. Oh yeah, you can see a little bit of flooding and stuff on the streets there. That is so cool. I think we're gonna head on up to this Toast Works place and have ourselves a bite to eat. Let's check this place out. It's got all sorts of antiques. It's called Toast. So every way you could imagine how to make toast, it's in here. How sick, right? Freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah. Check out that toaster. <laughs> Where do they find these things? All right. I wasn't expecting this. It's got a little Mexican menu. Freaking awesome. Look at the price of that, 33 bucks. Have you have a chance yeah, to take no, a no, look at the, the uh, Look at that. Damn, that looks really freaking good. He melted the cheese on the outside. Ooh. And I love it. These cars have been sitting here since I was here last. My gosh, that was expensive as heck. I've never had a $30 burrito before, but that burrito was damn, damn good. That's a cute house, that one right there. I like that one. Don't get your titties all twisted there. Don't worry, I'm not buying a home. But that's a dope bus. Look at that thing. That bus is pretty cool beside all those old buildings. Yeah, <laughs> and they put a skeleton on the inside. Look through the window. There's a couple skeletons in there. This must be a gun of some kind. Guess you can pull this open, stick the shell in there, shut it, boom. That is freaking nuts. Calibrated here. Oh my God, it actually functionally works. Check this out. It actually rotates. Say what? Things you can only do in a small town. Now, if he's heading to the beer store, I'd be pretty impressed. Definitely wasn't making a beer run. All right, I give in. <laughs> We're gonna go to the campground. I think it's on 8th Avenue, 7th. She's not in there. Ready for the campground? Uh, yeah, I'm just here. I wanna register for a campground, a camp spot. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, sounds good, thank you. Spot number 22. Found a camp spot just in time for rain. This is where getting a camp spot is never worth the money. Camping here was 25 bucks. But these are the spots where it's raining and you can't sit outside and enjoy your camp spot. You gotta stay inside because it's raining. Hey, girl, let me get you some food, bud. Me and Cruz, he came into town here for a nice little evening walk. <laughs> it's probably gonna be a short walk, but we're out here anyway.
look at this guy. He built a house around a trailer. That's just a regular trailer. <laughs> he made it look like a house. Bro, just so you know, my dog is a freak for chipmunks and squirrels. It's probably not a good safe place to be and you're coming closer. Hi, buddy. Dude, you're awesome. Hi. Whoa. Quick little bugger. She's loud. Cruzy flips out. Keep breaking my phone cables. I broke three of them on this trip so far. We've only been gone for a short amount of time. Let's see what back road maps I have. Well, I have Northern BC. Vancouver Island and the Caribou. Sometimes it's nice to have a paper map. I love having the ones on my phone because they run on my dashboard the whole time. But having a paper one once in a while to sit down and kind of like really, really deep dive into some areas is a lot of fun. <laughs> it's my buddy. <laughs> I need to start eating better. Damn it. All this bad eating has been kicking the crap out of me. Like I, every time I turn around, I'm grabbing something from the corner store or ice cream sandwiches from the grocery store. My gosh. I told myself when I set off on this trip, I'd cut my calories back and get back into like my good old routine of eating better like I did the other year. Remember the other year when I lost a ton of weight? Well, yeah, well, I haven't been able to get into that swing. <laughs> uh, I want to, but I guess that's half the battle anyway. All right, you guys, I don't know what the plan is for tomorrow. I just know I'm going to get a great night rest here tonight at the camp spot. The weather's super cool outside, which makes for great night's sleep. All right, y'all, keep your double Vs up. And if you guys want to grab some stickers, man, we got tons of them on our store at vancityvanlife.ca. All right, you guys, peace out.